All right, Chief Meteorologist Joe Veras with us here. Not a bad day today. I could take more temperatures like this, but something tells me I'm out of luck. You're in luck tomorrow for Valentine's Day. I'll take so it. We're looking pretty good. Temperatures back into the 40s, some sunshine returning, but the weekend not so hot. We're looking at 20s and the chance for snow showers. But the good news is no major storms heading our way. We were talking about the potential for that nor'easter <laughs> earlier in the week, but the latest computer models continue to push it farther and farther off the coast. So good. not a big issue for us. All right. All right. Here we go with our weather headline for tonight. We are talking about increasing clouds and some light snow showers, especially for the northern tier of Pennsylvania, light coating not out of the question in the higher elevation south of Route 6 tonight. A mild Valentine's Day and then colder conditions pushing back in over the weekend. Latest weather maps showing low pressure zipping off the mid-Atlantic coast tonight. And again, that will brush the northern tier with some light snow showers. Nothing more than that, though. Latest satellite and radar map showing the cloud cover now pushing up into the southern tier of New York. So we'll go with a cloudy forecast for tonight, but uh, maybe a flurry for the southern tier tonight. That's about it as far as snowfall is concerned. But like I mentioned, over the northern tier, perhaps some lighter snow showers. And that's about it. It's out of here by tomorrow morning. We're looking at a clearing trend already back to the west. We're looking at some uh, clear skies uh, just to the west of Cleveland. That'll be pushing up towards the north and east late tonight and for, tor for tomorrow. So for Valentine's Day, looking pretty good locally with temperatures back up into the 40s. But another weak weather system pushing up through the Great Lakes will bring some mixed rain and snow showers tomorrow night and to wrap up the work week on Friday. Right now, temperatures looking pretty good. Elmira at 39 degrees, 34 in Rochester, 34 as well in Buffalo, and New York City coming in at 41. Local temperatures basically in the mid-30s at this hour, 36 in Ithaca, 36 as well in Hornell, and Corning still at 40 degrees. 24-hour planner showing temperatures tonight settling down into the mid-20s, generally cloudy skies out there, and then some sunshine returning for tomorrow. Check these temperatures out. By 2 in the afternoon, we're up to 44 for our 5-degree guarantee. Future track is showing those light snow showers tonight for the northern tier, but a clearing trend for our Thursday. Looking pretty good if you have any outdoor activities planned. But tomorrow evening, more clouds head our way. Low pressure system moving up through the lakes will bring the chances for some mixed rain and snow showers our way for tomorrow night. Temperature settling down into the lower 30s. And then for our Friday, mixed rain and snow showers still possible, generally on the light side, but a push of colder air settles south out of Canada for the weekend. And uh, we'll be looking at highs only in the 20s with a chance for a couple snow showers persisting. But again, no major storms or accumulations expected for us. Five degree guarantee for today, forecast I-39. We hit 42. A look at our forecast for the rest of tonight. Cloudy skies, southern Figure Lakes, temperatures low in mid-20s, 24 for Elmira and 23 in Corning. For the northern tier, can't rule out some light snow showers, otherwise cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid-20s. Seven-day forecast does feature that warm day tomorrow and Friday, but turning unsettled as we go through the day Friday, mixed rain and snow showers. Snow showers through the weekend, President's Day looking nice, and then some more messy weather by Tuesday of next week.